Okay, so this is to solve the first problem on the uh, chapter 7 review. Um, on the paper you already you can see the um, the the way action that it is mentioned in the question and uh, below the below the uh, chemical equation uh, I also wrote down the the mass of each compound and the question mark is the compound that we the empirical formula that we are trying to find out uh, which is the caffeine okay okay but it is the um, it is the empirical formula. So to start off this calculation, we want to find out well which one is the easiest to find out. Now, as you can see here, this caffeine plus the O2, which is in the air, to produce CO2 and H2O, and also N2. And uh, you can see these two compounds. There are there are some oxygens in both of the compounds. So that may be a little bit more difficult to handle so we can start off with N2 uh, or, the, or the nitrogen. So uh, if we're using method 2 so we want to calculate the molar mass of the compound based on nitrogen. So uh, we understand that we're going to put the molar mass of nitrogen on top and the bottom we are going to put down the percent of nitrogen in the compound. But it is not given in the question, so that means we have to find out. Now, as you can see here, this all of the nitrogen atoms in the N2 is coming from uh, they are all coming from the caffeine because the oxygen doesn't contain any nitrogen, so the nitrogen atoms must come from the caffeine. So what we can do here is this. Since all of the mass or all the nitrogen atoms are coming from the compound, so we can put the 0.11 gram on top and 0.376 gram in the bottom. And if you use a calculator to calculate, it turns out to be 0.2926 or 29.26 percent. Okay. And uh, we can put this number into the denominator right here. And if you put in the calculator and calculate, you find out that it is equal to 47.85. And don't forget the unit. 47.85 grams per mole. Okay. Now, and then we can go to the next calculation. Now since oxygen is a little bit more complicated we will save it to the end. So you can choose either carbon or hydrogen. Uh, in this case I'm going to choose carbon. Okay. And then I'm going to put the uh, molar mass of carbon on top over the percentage of carbon in the compound for the denominator. And uh, we do not, it is not given, so we have to do the same like the previous problem. Part of a whole. And we understand that the whole is the point 0.376 gram. Now, we do not have this number because you can see here that we have 0.682 grams of CO2. So this mass contains this mass contains both carbon and oxygen so what we need to do is to find out how many or how many grams of this mass is coming from carbon so since we learn how to find out the percent composition we can use percent composition to find it out okay so in order to get this number this is what we need to do So first we calculate the percent of carbon in CO2, which is equal to 12 over, and if you calculate the molar mass of CO2, it turns out to be 44. Now don't forget the molar mass. Okay, and if you put in the calculator, it turns out to be 
0.2727 or 27.27 percent then you can put this number not here because this should be mass this is a percentage so what you need to do is to find out how much mass of carbon in the CO2 So 0.682 grams times 0.2727. Now if you put this into the calculator, it turns out to be 0.186 grams. Now this is the mass coming from CO2 and this is also the mass of carbon coming from the compound. So we can put this into here. and then we calculate this the percentage of carbon in the compound turns out to be 0.4947 or 49.47 percent so now we can put this percentage back into the original calculation okay and then we're going to calculate this fraction and it turns out to be 24.26 grams per mole. Now keep that in mind that when we use method 2 we are assuming that the molar mass of the compound is supposed to be the same. Now they are supposed to be the same uh, but you can see here they are different so we have to do something later on at the end to make sure that they are equal. Okay, And we can move on to hydrogen. So hydrogen is one gram over mole, one gram per mole, and then we multiply the percentage of hydrogen, uh, divide by the hydrogen, uh, percentage of hydrogen in a compound, and we basically repeat the same step as we have done in uh, for carbon. So we can do this. We want to calculate the mass of hydrogen in water since only water contains the hydrogen coming from the compound but we do not have that given so we have to find it out so in order to get this number what we need to do is calculate the percentage of hydrogen in water which is 2 grams per mole over 18 grams per mole now that is equal to 0.1111 Okay, if you bring the calculator, it will give you that number. And then we calculate the mass of hydrogen in water. So based on the information given, we have 0.174 gram of water. And then we multiply by 0.1111 or 11.11%. That is going to give you 0 0.0193 grams of hydrogen and then we can put this number right here so 0.0193 grams and then if you put this into your calculator you will find out that this is equal to 0 0.0514 or 5.14 percent now you can put this number right to here. Okay. And then we calculate it and we will get 19.45 grams per mole. Okay. Now we can go ahead and uh, do the part for oxygen which will be in the next part of the video.